Hey y'all, I'm in the middle of my water change Sunday. Um, <clears throat> I, you know, rearranged the tanks a little bit, gave them more space. I actually took that tree trunk out of here, and they're actually happy that I did that. Because as soon as I did that, they started darting around everywhere. Now, I took the goldfish out of here. They were getting beat on pretty bad. Uh, the big one isn't doing so well. Uh, but uh, I put my gold sevens in here. They're still adjusting. I literally just dropped them in there. Doing my water change now. For those of y'all that don't know, all right? Whenever you introduce no fish to an aggressive or a semi-aggressive tank or a smaller fish to tanks that have bigger fish in it, drop some food in there. As soon as you drop the fish, drop some food in there. Or drop some food first and then drop the fish. Um, personally, I think you should drop the food in first to take their attention off of what you're doing or what you introduce into the tank. But um, as you can see, they have so much more space in here now. Those Paco, that they're, they're getting really big, so they will be starting to get cramped and get aggressive. See, I didn't know Paco's get aggressive when they don't have no room to, to maneuver. And having that big thing in the middle kind of started irritating them, so. But yeah, I'm in the middle of my water change. I'm gonna clean all that stuff off the glass. I just vacuumed all the gravel and did everything. So let me uh, drop this a little bit so it doesn't shut off on me. So give y'all a quick look over here. My community tank. All right, I took the big boulders out again. Um, as you can see, he's not doing so well. His fins, I don't know if you guys can see it, but not only are they nipped, you can see the veinage, but they move. You can see his veins in there are really red. He's from getting beat on so much. He has red spots here. He was, he was starting for the past two days. They've been really messing with him bad. So he's not doing so well. Hopefully he, he'll bounce back that I put them in here. So we'll see how that works. Um, back to this. So I'm gonna show you all the products I use for my water changes. All right. To me, aquarium salt's aquarium salt, regardless of what brand you use. So I use the jungle joint. All right. I use that. I mean, I typically use, like to use API also, but um, my wife went to Walmart. Well, not my wife, but when she went to Walmart, I seen that there, and I was like, you know what, let's give it a try. See how it works. Um, sorry about that. Spin back around here. I didn't mean to get y'all all busy or whatever. But uh, back to what I was saying. So yeah, I mean, it's aquarium salt, so. I mean, it, I, I've already used half the bag, so it, it seems like it's working pretty well. All right, and then here's the magic. Besides having great water quality, water parameters, um, I like to use this. Let me get it to focus here. Sorry, I don't want to focus for some reason. Pond water clear. I don't understand why it's not focusing so well. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Focus, focus. There we go. Pond water clear. All right, and then Aquasafe, makes tap water safe. This is all I need it for, the chlorination and conditions, that's it. So I use that, that, and that. And that's my main 
my main deal for my water changes. Um, as you know, I like to do big water changes. So this is gonna, I'm gonna drop this down to 50%. And then as it fills up, I'm gonna have a little bucket of this mixed in there. And voila, there you go. Right. And that goes the same for over here. Do the same exact thing. Now the difference is, is that there's temperatures on this aquarium is 78. And that temperature is 80. So hopefully my severums, which they look like they are, will, won't take that too badly. I don't know if the goldfish is going to take it well going from 80 to 78 which I think he should, because it's colder water. Usually they say colder water is better for them when you do water changes, if you're not gonna tempt the water. At least a couple of degrees colder is better than a couple of degrees hotter. But from what it looks like, if the severums are adjusting pretty well, he's still getting comfortable. The little goldfish is fine. He's still getting comfortable. He's, he's uh, a little lethargic, you know, which he's starting to move around a little better now. But um, yeah, he was doing really bad and then I had to take him out. For the past two days, I mean, he wasn't fighting back anymore. He was he was just getting beat on. And the koi are even bothering him and they don't bother anybody besides the little fish. But as you can see, he's, he's a little stressed out, fins down. And nip. So hopefully he, he bounces back. But, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Alright? Later.